Our coil is actually from 1980 on up to 89. A humming sound you do hear there, I don't know if you can hear it or not, is the main transmitter, a CM11, and we're at 450 to 500 kilo, kilohertz. There's no heat involved. I got samples on top of a piece of plastic. Normally with RF heating you could do these kind of things, but we'll get into the physics of that in a while. Well, we just noticed something here. Uh, this is a rubber composite, right? Let's see if we can zero on. There's something going on there. Like, a what is that? Is that rubber or? Yeah, I know the RF fields are interfering with the camera. It works on a principle of using RF too. Right. There's some kind of displacement on those um, composite um, rubber blocks, or whatever they are. They're your sample thing. Well, this is the famous Hathaway camera we're using here. It's for my end of the deal here, to have a copy. And the viewfinder is slowly working. Mr. Chang here, he's got his camera with modern little handheld. Renee went out for a while. She was filming a little bit earlier, so I'm just keeping tabs on what's cooking in there. Looks like those composites there are going pretty good. Very slow process, there's no heat. And. Prior to that, we had a pair of scissors that simply just fell apart. Like, good example would be like old rubber. Old rubber that would you'd handle it and would fall apart. That happened with the those scissors there. I guess we'll make a display of our samples. So we're doing April. Or is it May? One, two, May 1, I believe, Sunday evening, on a visitor from China, Mr. Chang, with his camera, we had Renee here, and we're just, I'm just capturing this for fun on uh, Hathaway, George Hathaway's old camera, which is totally, probably working or not, I don't know, but. I'm using a TV set to see what's happening there, if anything. But it looks like a small displacement of something in all. It's dark now, quite late. Nobody's complaining. We had problems before in starting this with the fire people and alarm bells going off again, just like the elevator system with uh, National Geographic TV. So a bit of narration helps, I guess, in all of this stuff. Even if it, I don't know if you're even recording it. <laughs> So well, I'm going to disappear here and I think I have to adjust something. Everything's on automatic, running okay. Um, I just asked Mr. Chen what that is again, and it is what you call a shock mount. It's a combination of rubber and steel. For some reason, it's picked on this piece, these two pieces, I think. When we're handling them, they're very hard, cold. I wish we had a thermometer to throw in there. But, um, 
observing it on the monitor over here it seems to have split apart it seems that whatever the action is seems to be appear to me very slow which is unusual although the stability of these um, this setup here is pretty stable and has been tested also yesterday now it's kind of a first but not really what I expected like I thought maybe we could do some jellification of metals but it only cracked the scissors apart and I'm not sure this here is unusual we never had a composite of steel and rubber before they're used in um, for electronic equipment for stabilization they use them a lot on Navy ships too but it looks like this thing is totally destroying itself it's kind of strange a composite and it's synthetic rubber I don't know Mr. Chen did you want to I know you don't want to talk too much about these things but you have an idea on your sample so I'm gonna see I can't quite see there okay thank you oh the other help is here okay I just noticed uh, I looked at the monitor it came around the corner I'm putting my report in here and um, I'm not sure if that's something happened to the synthetic rubber as a biochemical processor happened or what to make it into something it looks like uh, liquid rubber or metal we'll probably find out later when um, these are tested and analyzed but definitely it's a hard material I'm trying to think of a like tire rubber basically with metal in it it's um, that's what it is basically tire rubber because we hack sided in half there off the top to expose what's inside so it's kind of strange looking stuff and interesting that um, that combination seems to be doing a very slow meltdown yet there's no heat involved in that and I we're just gonna you wanna okay just keep on going I'm gonna go out and have something to eat we have here some helpers of course uh, Mr. Chang from China filming the modern camera and this thing is just gonna sit here and capture whatever it captures so whatever and we're on fire lookout just in case uh, the high voltage system starts to melt or anything else and we actually have a small CO2 fire extinguisher so we're having a lot of fun today a long day at the office as you say okay um, it looks like whatever's happening is happening on a very slow scale there and we'll probably do an experiment where we just turn everything off no we're just gonna let it go you want to let it go? oh okay yep all right so I'm going to actually go and get something to eat feeling it hungry so I'm doing this is my I wanted to do my thing here to capture whatever's happening and oh isn't that interesting how funny that is uh, yeah okay time for me to go I think I don't know <laughs> okay guys you mind for I'll be back in about 10 okay
just got back from eating and looked at the um, TV where this camera runs into. It's um, interesting what's happened. They're both joining together now. It looks like it anyway on, <laughs> on the TV. As seen on TV. Anyhow, I am curious about this stuff. I got a... Um, looks like it's... It's not hot. Yeah, kind of like tar and metal. Kind of strange. The outer casing is, um, steel. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I guess... Okay. So... And the inner parts are steel, too. Okay, and they disintegrated, right? Hmm. I heard um, something like a chain break. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, what was that noise? I'm sorry. If that falls down, you know what the hell is going to happen. Sorry, sorry. Well, I've been lucky so far then. None of these chains uh, mushed out on us. Except for that National Geographic, there was a tailing of a chain that fell down, but... Oh, man, that stuff gets weird. I'll check the time and date. Yep, okay, I'll do that right now. Thanks. Okay, the time and date is, um, it's, I don't know the date, but the time is 11 at night. So I'm not too sure we've been, how long we've been in the, to the experiment. It's been a very active day here. We, um, also did filming with Renee, as well as others, and the others have left. Mr. Chang, myself here. We're almost at the end of the experiment. I'm just going to look over here and see if anything's happening. 